Joining us is His Royal Highness uh, Princess Saud bin Mish'al, head of Saudi Arabian's Cricket Federation. Your Royal Highness, first of all, welcome to Al-Akhbariya. Honored and much. happy to have you with us. I'm, I'm honored as well. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Uh, Your Royal Highness, this is a historical day today. This is, this is the, uh, Saudi Arabia's biggest uh, cricket tournament yes. to ever happen. Yes. Tell us about that also. How did this all start and uh, how did you see that? Event? We started by meeting SFA, the Saudi Sports for All Federation, and uh, they had ideas about cricket and we developed programs to implement it. So they cared about mass participation and we have the numbers to deliver that. And uh, so far we delivered more than 7,800 participants, more than 365 teams, around 11 cities, under 15 associations. And this is just the kickoff. We have three other programs coming up with SFA. One is going to be the softball that is going to deliver around the same number. And we will have an, uh, a workers camp uh, league and we're going to have a social cricket program and we may have a school program if they resume school in September. With all those programs, we are planning to get around 20,000 participants in 2021 playing cricket. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Also an important fact that I didn't know about until today. Cricket is the second largest sport in the world after yes. soccer or football. Yes, and right? viewership, definitely. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. How critical do you think also spreading such such sport also in the kingdom and attracting the I think it I think cricket is in the kingdom from a very, very long time, but we never had infrastructure, we never had proper leagues, we never had proper programs, but today under the support of our leadership and Prince Abdul Aziz and Prince Fahad and Prince Khalid bin Walid as well yeah. who supported us very much in this program. We're going to have a lot of programs and we are going to have a league coming up and we are going to have grassroots programs, we're going to have women programs and a lot is coming. Also, also in the infrastructure level, we're going to have a lot of progress very soon, hopefully. We're going to have women also, uh, women empowerment also, it's very important. Yes, yes, definitely. Vision 2030 and it's being implemented also sports and federation as well. How critical is that part? So what is your, what is your target? They will be saying, power women also. We're going to have a lot of women teams. We're going to have a league. We're going to have a national team in the future. And we're going to help them participate locally and internationally. Saudi national team. Okay. Yes. Yes. How do you see people also being attracted to this? Also? We're a young nation, right? 60% is youth. Yeah. How do you see the attract part also to the sport? Uh, you can see you can see the numbers you can yeah. see you can see a lot happening meaning we have we have more than 8 million from five different nationalities which is from Afghanistan India Pakistan yes. Sri Lanka Bangladesh as well and a lot of other nationalities that cricket is the first sport in their country that's one two we will try to engage as much as we can through our data to have more players, more teams, and we're gonna, through our scorecards, create teams of the elite. Meaning every region or every state in the kingdom will have one or two elite teams that are gonna participate in a franchise league, hopefully, very soon. Awesome. Yeah. Rohan, thank you so much for these You're facts. Welcome. Thank you very uh, much. It was, a, it was an awesome event, also a historical event as well. I want to congratulate you. Thank you very on this much. Event, and inshallah, much. more and more success to come. Thank you. You're most welcome. Thanks.